Hello friends. Welcome back to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. So in the earlier video, we show how we can build and run Node.js application using AWS Cloud9. Now, in this session, we are going to see how we can build and run the Python Flask application. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. So here as you can see, this is my AWS management console. First here, let's search for Cloud9 service. Yes, here it is. So let's click and open it. Let me create a new environment here, so click on it. Now here, we need to give a name for our environment. So I will say, S3, Cloud Hub, Demo. Here description is optional thing, so just leave it as default and click on next step. Now here, in the EC2 configuration setting, our environment type is going to create a new EC2 instance for environment. Then the instance type. So T2 micro is good for our case. And it is perfect if you are a student and use it as free tier. Now in the platform, the default setting is good with Amazon Linux too, and also it is recommended. Then here, we have cost saving setting, and it means after 30 minutes, the EC2 instance will go into hibernation mode, and we will save cost. And now here, as you can see, it will create a IAM role for us that will give us a permission to access resources through this EC2 instance. Then we have network setting over here, but I will leave as default VPC, and that will be fine. So click on next step. So that's all we need to do to create an environment. So finally let's click on create environment. So now the Cloud9 service is going to create or launch our EC2 instance. And it is going to create a role for that instance. That's going to have the permission that we have as a logged user. So after a short time, we got our EC2 instance launched. Here as you can see on the screen we have our AWS Cloud9 IDE running on that EC2 instance. So for check let's go to our EC2 console. Here, let's check for the running instance. So let's click on it. So yes, here we can see, our EC2 instance is running. That is our AWS Cloud9 S3 Cloud Hub demo. Now let's back to our Cloud9 IDE. So now here in the terminal, first let's check everything up to date. So let's say, sudo, yum, update. Say yes. And as you can see, we are now up to date. Now we check whether our Python package is up to date or not. So let's run python pip install, then hyphen hyphen, upgrade, then pip. So yes, we are up to date now. Now here, I am just going to clone my GitHub repository. So let's say git clone and the repository link. So yes, as you can see, a WS Cloud9 Flask repository is successfully cloned here. Don't worry, I will upload the repository link in the description. Let's expand the folder, and here you can see we have two files. One is app.py, and another we have index.html in the template folder. Now the first thing we need to do is, we need to install Flask for our application. So first let's change the directory to our application directory, that we have just cloned here. Now to install Flask, we just need to say, pip, install, and Flask. So now our Flask package is successfully added, and we are good to go now. Now let's see the content of these files. So first in the app.py file, as you can see, first we have import the Flask and then render template function from the Flask package. Then here we have import the markup safe from the Jinja2 utils. Now here we created an instance of Flask object, so app is equals to Flask name. Then here, using root decorator, I have mapped the URL root to the function. And this function will return the index.html file from the template directory. And then here, we have mentioned the port number, and the host. So it means it will run on port number 3000. And it can receive all the traffic from anywhere. And now here in the index.html file. You can see, here it will return the string, hello world. And welcome to the S3 cloud hub. So now, if we want to run our application on port number 3000, again we need to edit the inbound rule of our EC2 instance. 
So let's go to our EC2 dashboard. Let's open it. And here in the security, let's open the security group. Now here let's click on edit inbound rule. Here let's click on add new rule. Here let's mention the port number we want. 3000. And then here, in the host, select anywhere from IPv4. Save the rule. Now let's go back to our application. So now to run the application. Just say, Python, and mention the file name, app.py. Yes. You can see it is running now. And it is running on these ports. So for check, let's just click on this, and open. Yes here you can see. It returned those strings. Hello world, and welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub. So now it means, our Flask application is successfully running. So guys this is how we can run our Python Flask application using AWS Cloud9. I hope, you all guys are now clear with this concept of Cloud9. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.